you guys i hope everybody is doing well and staying safe during these quarantine times and just evaluating what's important to you i know that i have been doing that and that has really led to me making this video and this video is actually a testimony about the time that god gave me a job and it was at a time where i really had to trust him with my finances and I really had to push myself and I was really stretched. My faith was being very, very much tested during this time. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And if you've already been here and if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up just so I know if you guys like this content that I'm putting out. And so yeah, I just want to take it back a few years ago. I think it was in 2016 or the beginning of 2017. And um, so sorry if I'm like looking down. I took down some notes just so I don't forget any of this story. And um, it's basically a time that I trusted God with my finances. And so I don't know if you guys are familiar with the concept of tithing. I know that it wasn't something I was really taught growing up too much. I just knew that you're supposed to give 10% of your income if you are, if you go to a church, if you're a Christian, if. Um, just if you believe in building the church. It was just something that I never really did up until that point because I just don't know a lot about it. And just a disclaimer, this isn't like a teaching on tithing. I still like, I'm not an expert on it. I just had this um, moment when I was in church in 2016 when I was really down to, um, I won't say like my last, but it was kind of close. Like my bank account was not looking good <laughs> and there was a message that my pastor did about the concept of tithing. So I'm gonna just jump right into it and I hope that this is encouraging in some way. Um, so once I graduated from college in 2016, I didn't jump right into one of those like high paying, super stable jobs that everybody had. I was actually pretty much scrambling to the last minute and during my senior year, I didn't know what I was gonna do next. But um, I found out about this opportunity to do a year of service with AmeriCorps. And basically in that year of service, you don't even really get like a salary. You get a living stipend, which is a nice way of putting like, they're gonna give you some expenses. They're gonna give you some money for like food and rent, but it's like very much like the bare, the bare minimum. It's not a lot of money at all, but um, it wasn't a salary, but I was just excited to just like have my own money for the first time. Like once I graduated, I was just like, okay, this will I'll make this work. I can get a place where rent isn't too bad and I get my own money. So it was like, I didn't really, I was kind of naive about like the job market. So I just took, I just took the opportunity. It was a chance to like teach kids how to do video production and um, teach journalism to kids. So, and it's a year of service. I love like helping other people especially like kids who are less fortunate and so i was really excited about that and so i jumped right into it but um i was paying rent every month and rent was like the majority of my salary it just i didn't think too far ahead it was my first job out of college i was just like okay my rent is like majority of my paycheck that's fine like what else do i need and um you know, I was just happy to be independent and to be like adulting, but I just wasn't taking it as seriously as I should have, the concept of budgeting and things like that. And so there was a moment where I just had pretty much lost um, the control of like my budget, you know? I just wasn't being smart with it, my spending habits. I was like buying just like, I was eating out a lot, just like getting a lot of food. Um, and not like eating food at the house. <laughs> and so I was pretty much just being careless with my finances at this time. And um, at the same time, I was like nearing the end of the year of service that I was doing. This was getting like very close to the end of the year. The service is only one year. And so I had to find another job too. And so it was just kind of like a scary situation to be in. Like didn't know what was next didn't have much money saved up or anything at all. And um, um, a couple months before, I saw that 
the school, one of the directors in the School of Communication. I don't know if you guys know Miss Dudley, if you guys went to Howard, but she posted on her Facebook like, Roland Martin is looking for his next digital producer. Reach out to me if you're interested. And so I sent her an email. I found his email, sent him an email, and I was just like, hopefully I get it. You know, we'll see. But I did not hear back for months. And so I kind of just like let that go. I just kind of dismissed it. I'm like, okay, cool. I didn't get picked for it. And so I'm at this point. Mind you, um, I thought that opportunity was gone. Um, had nothing else lined up. I was still applying for jobs, but I was nearing the end of my year of service, like I said, and just didn't really know what was next. And so it was one Sunday at New Bethel, and the message was about tithing and trusting God with your finances. And for me, this was a message I really wasn't trying to hear at the time. Like one, I don't have a job lined up. Two, I don't have that much money saved up. So really tuning into a message where he's saying, trust God by giving 10% of your income. It wasn't something that was like um, feasible <laughs> in my mind or something that even seemed smart. And so I was just like, yeah, I don't know about that. But it was just really kind of like tugging on my heart to try it, to like, I felt like God was telling me just you know, trust me, give me a chance. And so this was my first time tithing. And I just said, this makes no sense, but the message is really just like sticking to my heart right now. Like, I don't know what it is. It just like, it was, it was just resonating. It was heavy on my heart. And so, um, I, it was Sunday, I, 10% of what, um, I had just made from my last paycheck. I just like, I trusted God and I know this is probably going to be a little controversial but I'm not advocating for anything all I'm saying is like I'm just sharing my experience what happened <laughs> and so I I tithed I gave 10% I didn't look back I just said God I'm gonna try this I'm gonna try tithing and see what happens in one of the verses that I remember the pastor reading was um, Malachi chapter 3 verse 10 which reads Bring the whole tithe into the storehouse, that there may be food in my house. Test me in this, says the Lord Almighty, and see if I will not throw open the floodgates of heaven and pour out so much blessing that there will not be room enough to store it. After that sermon, I think it was the Tuesday after the sermon, literally the Tuesday after, my inbox for my email, I have a message and it's from Roland Martin. It's from the same guy who I sent out that email to about that digital producer. Wow, I can't talk. That digital producer job, that's like a tongue twister. So I, he got an email, he was just, he sent me an email, he's like, hey, I see that you're interested in the digital producer position. Can you come in for an interview tomorrow? And I'm like, oh my gosh. I was like, I applied for this months ago. Like, I forgot, like I didn't even expect a response anymore but so I get ready I go to the interview the next day it's at um it's at NBC in Washington DC where his show broadcasted out of at the time and he called me in for an interview and we did a live interview which he ended up broadcasting my interview on like all of his like social media platforms and then after that I just like it was kind of funny because I was a little nervous. I didn't want to share with anybody that I was applying for this or that I was going to try out for this job. Try out. I was going to interview for it. And I kept it to myself. And then he ends up broad he ends up broadcasting it on all his social media. So that was just a whole other thing in itself. But the next day after that interview, he emails me and he's offering me the position. And this was mind blowing to me because this was days after I had just given my tithe to the church. And on top of that, what the salary that he was offering was three times, three times the salary or the living stipend that I was making at Ameriport. So that was just a situation where I just released what I had and I just said, God, listen, I'm gonna trust you. You got it. And you guys, literally like that is more than what I could have imagined more than could, what I could have expected 
just by trusting him just by testing out this concept and I don't take it lightly. I don't take that as a coincidence. I don't think it's just by chance that, oh, a couple days after I tithe, I get a job that pays three times more what I was making. And they said I could start immediately. They're like, when can you start? Can you start like in a couple days? And so literally like my salary was replaced and tripled in a week just by trusting God. So yeah, that's basically it you guys. That's just the testimony I wanted to share about trusting God with finances. And I know this is like a very, very hard time for a lot of people financially during this quarantine, but I just hope this can encourage you that even when you don't see the end in sight or you don't see that there's a way that can be made, I'm just encouraging you to trust God. And um, I am a living testimony that he can provide your needs and he will you just got to trust him let me know what you think let me know if you've ever had a moment where you've had to trust god with your finances or in any other area of your life and um let me know what other type of videos you guys may want to see in the future give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it if you were encouraged by it and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more testimonies about how god has moved in my life and just for any other faith type of videos and all right i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys